China is expert to have a warn that earthquakes and landslides are the two biggest conditions that could lead to the crisis of the three Gorgias Dam. But recently, both of them happened at the same time, so Chinese people are feeling terrified. Actually, a few days ago, in southern China, there was a massive rains were continuing, and the authorities have begun to discharge the water in order to prevent the destruction of the three Gorgias Dam. The problem is this, they didn't say anything about the discharge of the water so many cities have got damaged severely. In this situation, the result of the recent simulation of the three gorgeous dam conducted by senior Chinese repair experts in general, it was known that if the three gorgeous dam collapses, cities in the lower area such as Yichang city will be damaged first, but the simulation results were the opposite. Whether Sichan and Chungqing, which were located upstream of the Three Gorgias Dam, were found to be the first to be submerged, Sichan will become a vast ocean. The informants used a very powerful sentence, the vast ocean. According to the informants, the test results show that after the Three Gorgias Dam collapses, the flood did not immediately rush down, but huge landslides would be happened then it will form a landslide dam, causing the upstream water level to rise sharply and the Sichuan Basin will be full of the water. When a huge dam such as the Three Gorgias Dam collapses, there will be a huge landslide such as earthquakes, volcanoes, and landslides create a landslide dam. Landslide dam is created by blocking the flow of the rivers. If you look at the map of China's altitude map, you can see the Sichuan Basin, and this looks like the dug up in the upper areas of the Three Gorgias Dam. And the Sichuan Basin is home to Sichuan Province, which has a population of 80 million, and Chungqing, which has a population of 30 million. Eventually, more than 110 million people will be affected. The next is the result after Sichuan and Chungqing were damaged by the Three Gorgias Dam. Shortly after the flood reached its peak, all water moves to the downstream. Experts say that the flood which was originated in Sichuan province will be more devastating and the downstream areas will suffer massively. However, there was an unexpected result. The most damaging place was not the Yichang, which is located just below Three Gorgias Dam, but the middle cities of the downstream areas were expected to suffer the most. The cities were Yeyang, Wuhan, and Zhujiang. In addition, if the dam collapses, the Chinese people have to cross the Yellow River and flee to the north side or go to the one remaining shelter in the south side, that is Sunnongja, west of Hubei. Sunnongja is a high altitude area with the legend of Sunnong. From Chinese mythology, it is known that the god of agriculture Sunnong grew help in here. An informant to say that after the simulation, Chinese authorities have already taken the resort and center built in Sanongja as a refuge for the upper class. In addition, the informant pointed out that the analysis by experts from other countries besides China is not accurate because the abroad experts are getting very limited and fabricated information provided by China. Since June, due to continuous rainfall, the soil moisture is saturated, and geological disasters such as a flash flood, landslides, and debris flows have occurred frequently. In the upper region of the Three Gorgias Dam, Sichuan, Chungqing, and other places have experienced the debris flow disaster. On July 1st, landslides occurred in Kiwan in Chungqing, and it caused mudslides blocking the highway. The volume of the mountain where the landslide occurred was about 10,000 square meters, and the debris flow was amazingly powerful. Everything where flood passed was washed away. This video shows that the rain was rushing down from the mountain with a lot of the mud and sand, and rushed to the highway, and the guardrail on the highway was damaged. In the town of Jiurongpo in Chungcheng, several people were buried in a landslide. Rescue workers are cleaning the building's debris. And also, in the early morning of June 17, in Damba County of Sichuan Province, there was a flood and debris flows due to heavy rain. The debris flows blocked the Jinchuan River and formed a landslide dam. 
After the landslides dam, the flood rushed directly to the village downstream. This video was released by netizen Shiseida. In Sichuan, where the flood came, two villages disappeared directly. More than 20,000 people were transported. I saw the flood running down and destroyed the village and the houses. And authorities can't even count how many people have been lost. Villages, school, and all buildings were submerged in soil and that had been swept away by landslides. Royang, Henan province is also a sea of water. Royang is the place where the tributaries of the Yellow River flow. Major cities in China have no drainage system at all. The rainfall is not a problem, but the drainage system is not reflected at all in the city planning. So even if it rains a little, it becomes a flood. This is a chronic problem in modern Chinese cities. In this situation, an inventor came up with an airbag idea to prevent the cars from being submerged, a device that allows the airbags to be unfolded on the bus side and front of the car. After installing the air compressor in the trunk, connect the air pipe to the airbag. When the switch is pressed, the airbag swells and the car floats over the water. July 4, Zhangzhou, Honan province, there was not big rain, but all the cities are full of water. Cars are driving on the road well full of the water. Meanwhile, abnormal weather conditions continue to be observed. It suddenly snowed in Hainan, a subtropical climate. It's the first time since the Ming Dynasty in 524 year. In Chai Win Lake, Chungqing, fish are running out of water. It is known as a precaution to an earthquake, so people are anxious. Meanwhile, in Sushan, Weining Yi County, Guizhou Province, tens of thousands of Chinese people have been attracted by a mysterious sound that has been heard for 10 days. Local residents say it is the sound of a legendary dragon that causes rain, wind, and flooding. Everyone is amazed at this sound, but at the same time, they are worried and anxious. However, no one can explain the reason for this sound exactly. And Chinese authorities claim that the sound was a quail or a synthesizer. However, netizens claim that it was the sound of a split in the seismic shear layer and in fact an earthquake occurred just nearby. As soon as people say that, sounds was the pre-sign of the earthquake. At 4 a.m. on July 2nd, a 3.2 magnitude earthquake occurred in Nawa County, Sichuan province upstream of the Three Gorges Dam. And at 11 a.m. on July 2nd, a magnitude 4.5 earthquake occurred in Hojiang County, Bije, Guizhou province. Students were evacuating to the playground when siren comes. Everyone was surprised because this area was real to see earthquake. Although the earthquake was small, people worried that this earthquake might cause serious geological dangers and affect the safety of the three gorges. In fact, analysts say that the 2008 Sichuan earthquake, which made 68,000 deaths, 18,000 missing. 370,000 injured and 50 million homeless was also due to the Jijing Put Dam, which was completed just before the earthquake. The Earth Observator at Columbia University in the US analyzed it like this. There have been no earthquakes for hundreds of years. On the strata in here, the construction of an artificial dam would have cracked in a fault line where the water pressure was 25 times higher than the natural pressure. But there is a bigger problem in China. The problem is that the monsoon season in southern China, which has suffered the all-time damage, has yet to begin. This is the analysis according to the records from 2008 to 2015. The highest water level in Sri Gorges Dam was mostly from July 20 to September 20 every year. The Sri Gorges Dam was controversial from the planning stage at the time. Since the construction of the Sri Gorges Dam, there has been continuous criticism and the appearance of deformation and leakage of the dam has caused external concern. 
Every year during the float season, the Sri Gorges Dam has become the hot topic of public. Many water conservancy experts have warned before they made the Sri Gorges Dam because it can cause an earthquake and landslides in upstream. Huang Wanli, a repair specialist at Tsinghua University, wrote to three letters to high-ranking Communist Party officials and asked them to give him 30 minutes to explain about the dam, but that was ignored. Later, Professor Huang predicted 12 things that would happen after the construction of the Sri Gorges Dam. 1. Downstream embankment collapse. 2. Vessel operation disturbance. 3. Flood victim problems. 4. Sedimentary problems. 5. Water quality deterioration. 6. Insufficient development. 7. Abnormal climate. 8. Frequent earthquakes. 9. Vampire leech spread. 10. Ecological deterioration. 11. Flood in the upper area. Of the 12 predictions, all 11 actually happened, and the 12th, the last prediction was the dam collapse. On 2001, Professor Fang wailed in his bed just before his death. Never. The three gorgeous them. Never, never, never. Be safe.